have any more money. <laughs> Wouldn't that be great? One time you're in fucking Vegas at a casino and you look sort of next to the slot machine, like, and you look like God. That's because I am God. This really, you go, this is what you do. I literally just sit here. All the money you guys fucking give me, I just sit here and try to fucking win as much more of as I can. <laughs> the next time the evangelical Christian asks me for money, I'm going to demand that God give me a urine sample first. I'm like, he's on drugs. He must be. It's the only way he's spending that much money. I mean, until I get a clean piss test from him, he's not getting another dime out of me. <laughs> You know, speaking of urine, <laughs> actually, <laughs> did you know that scientists have managed to grow teeth from stem cells that came from urine? I wouldn't put them in my mouth, but good on you. <laughs> Dude, your teeth look great, but it smells like piss. <laughs> and they're always so yellow. Can you fucking brush that shit? <laughs> That's when you just... You hang out with your buddy Jimmy. You're like, whatever, dude's got a dick on his arm. Yeah, <laughs> right. <laughs> Don't worry about my piss yellow teeth. Look at Jimmy's dick arm. <laughs> <laughs> Look, he can flop it around. It won't even get hurt. <laughs> <laughs> dick arm Jimmy. That's, That's so right. good. <laughs> hang out with that guy. <laughs> See, you guys want to be friends? No, go hang out with piss breath. <laughs> <laughs> you know, when you want to hear something that's just really uh, school shootings, by the way, don't be like me. <laughs> it's just very, very funny. Knows. <laughs> um, everybody knows that the world's fastest land animal is the cheetah. We all know that. Um, <laughs> but the fact that they actually cl- there, 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 there's a there's a group that actually claims that they have the world's fastest cheetah. And I'm thinking, I'm pretty sure you haven't fucking tagged every single cheetah in existence for fucking speed yet. Um, pretty sure the world's fastest cheetah is not in captivity. It's the one that didn't get caught. It's the yeah, world's fastest. It's the fastest one, exactly. Yeah, um, we got. We have the world's fastest one. Well, no, you don't, because you caught it. <laughs> um, but yeah, the one that they have, that they're claiming was the fastest that's ever been recorded. Uh, the cheetah's name is Sarah. It is she was 11 years old, and she ran 100 meters in 5.95 seconds. Clearly on steroids, but clearly, clearly. fucking cheater. Was she Kenyan? Um, was it, yeah. probably. I don't know if they're fast. They do marathons, get though. Um, they, yeah, they so, do marathons. Yeah. So what did they compare it to? They, they are they racing? Like they just see random cheetahs, so they let her go and go race with that one. Like the other <laughs> cheetah goes, what's going on? Like, how do uh, they compare? Well, they compare because they take um because they've been um for 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 decades, they've been um recording speeds of cheetahs um just to see just how fast they can go. And like I said, hers is the fastest recorded so far. By by them. By them. By that group. Yeah, my mind's faster. I can show you all my notes. <laughs> fastest one recorded by me. <laughs> that's the problem. That kind of thing. It's like, yeah, no, mine's faster. I'm yeah. the only one that's recorded it or can see it. It's invisible to you. It's so fast, you'll never be able to see it. It goes yeah. that fast. So it's Definitely. almost like I don't even have one. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, I just thought, like, what a stupid thing. So there you go. So, yeah, so there it is. We have the world's fastest cheater. How'd you catch it? Shut up. Um, I yeah. want to see if you're wittier than the science people who wrote these article, Eric. Okay. 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 I'm going to read you the statement, and I want you to insert a, a witty comment. It says, um, an ice cube takes up to 9% more volume than the water used to make it. We have no witty comment to add here. Eric, an ice cube takes nine more what? Uh, an ice cube takes up about nine percent more volume than the water used to make it. Um. Yeah, I got nothing. I've got nope. you, you caught me off guard. I got to think of something. Oh, yeah. Um. That's usually when I revert to. So does your mom? <laughs> Doesn't quite work that way. <laughs> <laughs> uh, 
I don't even know what to say. Um, I it's got a, nothing witty. It's it's one of those weird statements that I'm not sure if something witty is even available for it. Lots of I, I'm sure it is, but I'm at a loss at the moment. Uh, you caught me totally off guard. The Thor's King guys did that to me too. Yeah, yeah, they yeah they did that to me too. Uh, <laughs> Bastards. I, I recovered pretty good, but hey, speaking of which, I still haven't heard the one that you and I are on. Is that out there in the world? As far as I know, I haven't heard it. I have no idea. Should ask them. Fans of Eric and Gord, you should check out us on the You Suck, Thor's King, whatever they're calling it. It's a good podcast, good stuff. Yeah, it's a lot well, of fun. And hey, just because I'm not busy enough doing stuff for Eric and Gord, I am now taking on a role as contributing editor to a newsletter for that anger management crap, which is a great podcast with that guy. You remember I did that podcast, the philosophy one? Yes. Yes, I do. Yeah, he's got a new one and he needs someone to head up his newsletter. And I thought, hey. I'm not ever doing anything. <laughs> I do nothing with my time. Okay. I'll take that on too. So <laughs> everyone start listening to that anger management crap. It's a good podcast, actually. Um, and read his newsletter. It will be written by yours truly. Very cool. Very. I only ever finished one Eric and Gordon newsletter. I think it was this May or something. Last May. I don't know. But hmm. this one I think I can commit to. <laughs> oh, I man. Lend, lend more credibility and in case you guys don't know because i haven't mentioned it i have a book out on amazon available for sale um two people have apparently returned it so oh because <laughs> uh, my sales have dropped as uh since the last time so i don't know where the credit got declined or something. I don't know what it was, but anyway, it's called the only bad thing that ever happened at the bourbon hotel. You can find it on Amazon in like eight countries. Please check it out. It's okay. Mm-hmm. It's got a lot about apples and Australians. Has nothing about that. Why my book? Um, are we done? Is that it? Or are we out of uh, fact? Um, I do have a couple other ones. If you want to hear them. Why not? Okay. Um, did you know that it takes a photon up to 40,000 years to travel from the core of the sun to the surface? Uh, it's pronounced photon, by the way. Photon. <laughs> <laughs> um, but yet it only tra- it takes eight minutes to travel from the surface to Earth. So it takes 40,000 I... years to go from the core to the surface. And then eight minutes from surface to Earth. Huh. That's a long time. That is a very long time. <laughs> you know, this is some of these weird science facts that I'm just, I, I don't understand. Um, there's enough DNA in the average person's body to stretch from the sun to Pluto and back 17 times. Okay. I don't understand how that's remotely even close to possible. Well, DNA is microscopic, tiny, right. like almost immeasurably small. Which means if all of that could fit into the human body, you can't stretch the human body from here to Pluto and back. How the fuck could the DNA reach it there and back? Oh, you could. Uh, Hawking said it's a spaghettification. You just have to be in a black hole. Then you can stress the fuck out of us. Maybe. Sure. That's true. That's true. I know shit about stuff. Well, um, they say that DNA molecules are the size of this, or the or DNA molecules, specific ones, um, are 1.7 to 8.5 centimeters long when uncoiled. Shit. About five yep. centimeters on average, and you have between five hundred thousand and two and a half million different pairs. Huh. And apparently that means if you were to outstretch each one, so that there is about thirty seven trillion cells in the human body. So if you were to stretch, uncoil all the DNA and contained encased in each cell and place the molecule end to end, it would sum the total length of 
two to ten times fourteen power meters, which is seventeen well, round trips to Pluto. Much like everything else, I'll believe it when I see it. So get to stretching, <laughs> boys. Yes, yeah, yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> um, Call I, don't Elon. I don't understand this one. To ride. there are eight times as many atoms in a teaspoon of water than there are teaspoons of water in the atlantic ocean there you go that makes sense i guess um i know like um, they're tiny Atoms are fucking everywhere. I went to high school with like a hundred of them. <laughs> <laughs> Every third dude is Adam. <laughs> That's random. <laughs> um, <laughs> did you know that grasshoppers have ears in their bellies? I no, I had no idea. They have a sound detector with a, a, a that's a thin membrane called a tampanum, Gross. basically, or an eardrum. Um, it's covered and protected by the wings and allows the grasshopper to he- hear the songs of its fellow grasshoppers. That's stupid. There you go. And, and I, you don't know that. I don't think you know that. I don't. I don't think science knows that. I think they're speculating. <laughs> Uh, nothing and, about this is saying speculation. It is all stated as fact. Just yeah, that. if they if they had ears, then Dre would have put out a pair of Beats just for them, and he hasn't yet. So I think you're lying. Maybe that's why his wife is suing him because Dre would have put out his Grasshopper <laughs> Beats. It'd be awesome if that's what he was obsessed with. That's why we haven't heard from him in years. He's like, I got to make Beats for the Grasshoppers. <laughs> I gotta add that sick ass beat to a fucking grasshopper tr- song. <laughs> they need, they need to hear this. They need to hear this. Um, you know what I heard today? I learned. Um, I don't know why I pick on Jay so much. Your beats suck, and they're three hundred bucks. That's why. Um, they're no better than Skull Candy, but people buy them because they three hundred bucks. Yeah. Well, those must be good. They're three hundred bucks. That's I love Dre. I'm a big fan of Dre, and I do not like his fucking headphones. Um. Bacteria scream when they die, apparently. There's another one you can't prove, but fucking ask a grasshopper if he hears it, I guess. Um, <laughs> I'm going to go out, find a grasshopper, and I'm going to pick him up. Hey, <laughs> when was the last time you heard bacteria die? Does it scream? <laughs> That's when the grasshopper turns around and goes, yeah, and it's freaky as shit, dude. Like, All right. I hate having an ear on my belly. It sucks. <laughs> I think I need some sleep. Because <laughs> that grasshopper answered me. Um, uh, and according to science, you cannot taste food without saliva. Uh, that makes kind of sense. Yeah, I had a friend in high school who couldn't taste food because he was born with no taste buds, no, no and taste he had buds. a sense of smell. Oh, because of that, because taste buds give you your smell. And he was born with no taste buds, so he could not taste it, he could not smell. Could you imagine not tasting food your entire life? That'd be terrible. Just think about, just think about that. No, I, I don't want to. food tastes like? Where is I? The last time I saw him, I was 18, so I don't know what he's up to. But yeah, he could taste extremely sweet things. That was it. That's all. Oh, wow. So he, he loved um, frosted mini wheats. He could taste the frosting. Oh, on the shit. Eh? And, he, and that was his, like, that's all he ate. But yeah, that was just suck. Like, go through, like, you don't know what your favorite food tastes like? Like, that's fucked. Thanksgiving? Yeah. He never tasted like Thanksgiving. Oh, that's my fucked. God. A Dude, barbecue. Yeah. I just, not, oh, no, my no. God, that would kill me. It's all meaningless. He used to just clear a room by sitting there and farting up a storm, too, and just laugh, and he had no idea what it smelled like. <laughs> That's funny. <laughs> <laughs> oh man. Uh my last fact that I have, and then I seriously I gotta bail, I gotta go to the bathroom. Um what, what is it about this show that's just a laxative to go it, 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 it truly is. It's just it just I just get all my shit out when I'm on the show. <laughs> and I gotta get it into me again. That's um, funny. Helium. Interesting thing about helium, and there is a video of this. 